what's good girlies welcome or welcome back to another video so today i'm just about to take y'all through my exact process of how i get my shit together and show you exactly how to shift into a new you in literally just two days day one the first thing that i'm gonna do is sit down and think about exactly what is bothering me why do i want to go through this entire mental reset routine what is it that i want to change what is it that's kind of irritating me right now make this very very tailored to you because this is going to set the foundation for your entire routine this is going to set your intentions for this routine today so for me what's been bothering me lately is that i've been feeling very mentally clogged i haven't been like receiving ideas i feel like I'm just not grounded in myself and in my spirit and I'm forgetting my own values and beliefs. So if I'm just feeling very clogged up and like I can't receive information, then what I need to do is I need to cleanse the energy all up in here and I also need to ground myself. Cleansing and grounding is gonna be my intentions for my entire routine. And then also think about who you wanna become as well after that. You know, what's bothering you and who do you wanna become? I wanna get back and being in that creative flow. I wanna get back to my values and, and reading a lot and doing my yoga and doing my healthy practices. So now that we got what's bothering us and what we wanna become, the second thing that I do for my mental reset routine, which is very, very vital, all right? This is very vital. Clean, clutter very much mentally clogs me. So I like to declutter, get rid of shit, clean my space, make it real nice and fresh. And then after I clean my space, I'll actually cleanse my space. I like to cleanse by smudging and also sound healing and also getting sunlight or moonlight in my apartment. You know, I'll use a little sage. I, I hate the way sage smells, but it's very powerful. So I might open up the window and use me a little sage, but immediately after that, I'm gonna use my Palo Santo. I'm going to purify that energy and bring in that new and make everything so fresh and so clean. And then once I clean, I like to rearrange stuff, rearrange stuff, you know, stop looking at the same stuff and really bring in that new energy. And it doesn't just have to be with your space. Like I express myself through home decor most of the time. So say you express yourself through fashion or say you express yourself through, you know, a different form of art bring in some new energy into that you know what i'm saying get rid of the old you know get rid of the stuff that you don't use anymore but also bring into the new switch it up try some different stuff because we just got to get rid of that old energy sis after i clean and cleanse my space i'm gonna actually clean and cleanse my ass so i'm gonna get up in the shower and i'm gonna imagine me washing off all of my doubts and limiting beliefs i'm imagine all that going down off of my body and through the drain. I'ma imagine that shower as a white light cleansing me. I might close my eyes and meditate. I'm definitely gonna play um, a frequency while I'm in the shower too. Frequencies really have actually changed my life. I really need to talk about that more because frequencies will really um, cleanse energy and raise your vibration and you don't even have to do anything but sit there and listen to it. I'm gonna take me a nice, long, cleansing, intimate shower and set the intentions that I'm gonna be a brand new person when I get out of this shower. Now that I'm out of the shower and my space is cleansed, my ass is cleansed, everything is nice and cleansed, the next thing I'm gonna do is light some candles around my space. I personally, I love candles. I love the way that they smell and I also love looking at the actual flame as a form of meditation too. It's something about fire that is so intriguing to me. Having as much candles around my space lit as possible just really grounds me, it grounds my space. I feel so protected and safe when I light candles. I don't I don't know. Let me know if y'all have tried that before and you really understand what I'm saying. If you haven't tried it before, light some candles all around, you know. It really just comforts me. I don't know. I just I just love it and it's my favorite thing to do, especially when I just cleanse my space and I got some new energy up in there. 
I'm going to protect that at all costs. And then going back to my intentions. So my intentions for my reset routine was to cleanse my energy and ground myself. That's day one right there. All right. So I've cleansed all the energy. Now it's time to ground. I'm going to light those candles. I might do a little root chakra yoga. I might listen to some root chakra affirmations. I might just sit there and meditate. You know, just sit there and pay attention to my breath and really just get in tune with myself and quiet my mind because that was my intentions in the first place. I'm feeling like I can't receive downloads and my mind is just all over the place. Now I gotta, you know, put down the media, put down the television, get rid of the distractions and really just sit with myself and enjoy that, you know, enjoy my own company, enjoy just sitting with my spirit and just being without necessarily having to do something or needing something to distract me from my own thoughts. I feel like that has been really mentally clogging me up. And now I got, you know, I can't receive information because I'm watching too much damn TikTok. After I done did all that, I'm pretty much ready to go to sleep. I'm ready to eat and take my ass to bed and just get ready for day two. So the next day when I wake up and my space is all clean and I'm feeling all good and I'm in this brand new energy, this is when I would usually sit down as my higher self, as a better me, and I'll think about what habits can I drop and the limiting beliefs that I can drop. How you drop bad habits is one, you can get rid of the cue that's making you do the bad habit for instance i have a bad habit of watching too much netflix and watching too much TikTok. so if i wanted to get rid of the cue and get it out of my environment i would just delete TikTok, or i would delete it off my home screen or i'll go on my computer where i watch netflix and i'll clear my history so the netflix is not popping up in my frequently watched another way that you can get rid of bad habits is to actually pair it with a good habit this might not be the most productive, but it actually works for me and I'm gonna explain exactly how. So a bad habit that I have is watching Netflix while I eat. Like soon as I make my plate and I'm getting ready to sit down to eat, I wanna have something in my face to entertain me. Something that I actually started doing was eating while I work on YouTube. So instead of opening up and going straight to Netflix, I'll go straight to my notes app where I plan on my YouTube videos or I'll go to the YouTube studio, or I'll do um, some type of research or some type of work on YouTube while I eat. This really changed my identity and took me from somebody who eats and get full and then sit in front of the, the TV and then don't do nothing for hours. Then I shift into my identity of, oh, I'm a person who's so busy and I'm very productive with my time to the point where if I wanna eat my lunch, I'm gonna be doing my work real quick because I, I got stuff to do, you know what I'm saying? The highest version of me is not sitting around all day watching TV. Along with dropping bad habits, I also drop limiting beliefs. Now, this is not an easy thing to do, but my favorite way to drop limiting beliefs and leave these things in the past that are not serving me anymore is to listen to affirmations while I sleep. With this, you don't even have to do anything. You just put on the little affirmations before you go to sleep and just go to sleep. And sometimes you can wake up feeling like a brand new person. Sometimes it might take a couple times of you listening to that to feel like a brand new person. Sometimes some of them might not even work for you, but just find what's, what works best for you. And if you do find one that is making you feel different in the morning and making you feel like a new person, save it to a little playlist and keep listening to it every night. And if you don't wanna listen to affirmations while you sleep, listen to them during the day while you're doing mindful tasks. That's my favorite thing to do. Like. If I'm doing a task that brings me to the present moment, my affirmations is so powerful. So I'll listen to them in the shower sometimes. I'll listen to them while I'm doing dishes. I'll listen to them while I'm taking, going for a walk. I'll listen to them while I'm doing yoga. Any task that brings me to the present moment, hearing those affirmations while your mind is very calm, it's really gonna sink into your subconscious mind and start to change your belief system. Once I've got my mind all cleansed from that old and stagnant energy and I'm now clear and centered, grounded and ready to receive, the next thing that I'll do for my mental reset routine is go to the spiritual gym. Start reading your books again. Start listening to those podcasts, those YouTube videos, the things that inspire you. Start feeding your mind with the things that's going to grow and elevate you instead of just mundane or 
even secular things. So instead of listening to music while I drive, listening to the regular music that I might dance to, you know, I'll start to listen to the spiritual music, the uplifting music that's going to inspire me to do better. Same thing with Netflix. I might have been watching a lot of entertainment that's not really useful to me. So maybe now if I'm really trying to cleanse and really want to detox, I'll watch a documentary or something that's really inspiring me to grow and expand. Be really mindful of what you're putting into your mind now because now you got it all cleansed and clear. You're feeling centered. You're hearing your higher self. You're receiving downloads and information, so you want to protect that. Now that I'm feeding my mind with the healthy stuff and I'm feeling inspired and I'm expanding my identity and my sense of self, the next thing I'm going to do is practice showing up as her because you're not going to change unless you actually change. So if you keep doing the same things that you've done, you'll always get the same results that you've done. So now that you realize and you've woken up again and realize that you are a powerful creator and you can create whatever you want, now all you gotta do is just practice showing up as her. Lately, I've been posting on Sundays. So if this is your first time seeing me, subscribe for um, weekly videos. I post every Sunday. How I'm doing that is I just say it's practice. Even if I think the video is not good enough and I'm having these limiting beliefs, I just show up. I just show up as I am because I am practicing being her. My future self and my highest self doesn't rely on motivation. She sticks to her word and she does what she's supposed to do. She does what she says she's going to do. She keeps her promises to herself. So whatever you're trying to do with your life, just practice showing up as her. If you want to start waking up earlier, just start practicing. All right, tomorrow I'm going to set my alarm for this time. I'm going to put my phone across the room and I'm just going to practice waking up early. That's all you got to do. You don't got to be perfect the very first time. You don't got to know the whole plan or how, of how everything is going to work out. All you got to do is just practice showing up and that's good enough. As long as you're keeping your word to yourself, that's going to rebuild your confidence again. That's going to expand your identity and you're going to be feeling so good about yourself, which is going to lead into my last thing that I do for my mental reset. And that's going to be to celebrate yourself, sis. Celebrate yourself. Cheer yourself on. Be your biggest cheerleader because nobody is going to care about your growth as much as you do. Nobody cares about your mental health as much as you do. So you be your biggest cheerleader and reward yourself. If I didn't did all that I needed to do today and I showed up for, for myself today and I got all my to-do list done, at the end of the day, I'm going to reward myself. You know what? I'm going to watch an entertaining movie. I'm going to eat a snack. I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A. I'm going to go get a cake. I'm going to go celebrate. You reward yourself. You cheer yourself on because you deserve it, okay? And don't let nobody think anything less because you know that the work, you know the work that you put in. You know where you came from. You know the growth that you've done and you deserve to celebrate. You deserve to reward yourself and you are going to be your biggest cheerleader. Let me know how you showing up for yourself, what you're practicing becoming, because you can absolutely create that. It's in your mind for a reason. You're supposed to create that. You're supposed to be doing that. So let me know how you're going to be showing up for yourself. And I appreciate you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you got any insight out of it, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I love y'all so much and I'll see you in my next video.